Hey guys, welcome back. Now, you're gonna get the abbreviated version of this video because I already recorded a really awesome full-length video and then discovered that I had no more memory. That was really cool, let me tell you. Okay, so bottom line, you guys are gonna get an abbreviated version, but it's still gonna have all the pertinent information. So I'm planning a ski slash snowboarding trip this next weekend. And last time I did this, I only had one remote speaker mic. And it worked really great because I could give it to, in this case, my father-in-law. He could keep the radio inside down by his belt and then the speaker mic up on his jacket lapel and have great, easy access to communication. Now, funny quick story, I gave my wife's cousin one of these to use and um, I clearly told him, hey, clip both lanyards on. Apparently he didn't and um, he had only put it on his pants like this, for instance, and it fell off when he crashed. He waited to the end of the day to tell me that he'd lost it, but when he did, somehow we started talking on the radios about a lost radio, and a uh, ski patrol got on and said, hey, we have a radio, can you describe it? So of course, super easy to describe, <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's a Rocky Taki with an orange carabiner and a hopefully gray little lanyard on it. And they started laughing, they said, yeah, we've got it. So I made my wife's cousin do the walk of shame and he went and retrieved his radio. Nobody else lost theirs because they actually listened to me put these clips on. So lesson learned, these clips work, use them. So I got to thinking, I bought a couple of these Rocky Talkie 5 watt GMRS and I actually went back to buy more and they're already sold out for this batch. So I bought a couple more of the original mountain radios. Um, you just can't have enough radios when it's a big group going. But I did buy two RSMs or remote speaker mics or just speaker mics for the Rocky Talkie 5 watt GMRS radio. And um, in the last video that you will never get to see because it apparently didn't get recorded, um, I took it apart and compared it to the original Rocky Talkie remote speaker mic. Now, the early question that you may be asking is, can I use the mountain radio speaker mic on the GMRS? And the quick answer is no, you cannot. They are different. And the biggest difference is in how they connect to the radio. If you can see this, one has a Kenwood style two pin connector and the other has a, what they are calling a Motorola M3 style surface mount connector. The advantage to the Motorola M3 style surface connector is that it is a waterproof or more waterproof connection. It is possible to have a watertight seal with this Kenwood style connection. However, as you can imagine, if you have receptacles in your radio, there's an opportunity for snow to get packed in if this is not sealed and uh, water could in time make its way into the radio. Not ideal. All public safety agencies are going to the surface mount style connector. This is my BK, BKR9000, all band public safety radio. Love this thing. And it has a very similar configuration. When you put this on your radio, first you are going to remove this little cap off the side and then put this angled latch in the top, push it in and up, and then put the screw down. Now, there is a flathead slot in this, but I strongly encourage you guys to not use that to tighten it, but use it to remove it. The reason for that is there is a brass embedded boss inside this plastic. And if you tighten it down too tight, that could pop out. Now that is not a Rocky Talky failure point. That is standard on Motorola as well. In this case, it's stainless, but all radios, are not designed to be cranked on with a screwdriver, so don't do that. Now, here is the unadulterated version of this remote speaker mic, and let's talk about it for a second because it is worth talking about. They added some new features that they didn't have on the mountain radio. You have volume up and down on the top, and that is really cool. Then, if you're using the A, B button to talk on two different frequencies, you can toggle that right below the push to talk. Now, in form factor, again, sorry, I took this apart in the last video, but in form factor, they are exactly the same shape from the front. From the top, they're different because this has the volume buttons. 
the side, they are different. Pretend this half is here because this one has the AB button. Um, and from the left side, they look the same. They are different radio speaker mics. You cannot use them on the same radio. And that is not a problem. They are very reasonably priced. This Motorola one is 600 bucks. This Rocky Taki one is not. And they sound almost the same. So let's take this one back apart because I want to show you some really cool features and why these are different than the standard Chinesium ones. Now, if you saw one of my earlier videos where I compare the Rocky Talkie branded remote speaker mic versus any of the um, traditional Chinesium ones you can find on eBay, AliExpress, Amazon, um, they're very different. I strongly encourage you to go check those videos out. When I started my ski trip last time, I thought it would be fine to bring a couple of those, and I actually had my father-in-law use one to begin with. And it was so bad, I could not hear him at all, and so I gave him my fancy remote speaker mic that I was planning on using. But it actually worked out really well, because my, percept my plan is, if I can get somebody else comfortable enough to use the radio, the whatever device I want them to use, then that's great because it makes my life easier. So I was happy to, to give that up. And it worked really, really well for him. So I want to show you something inside this remote speaker mic. The buttons are all sealed. The volume buttons and the push to talk button. And I especially like this. They have a custom molded rubber pogo style uh, switch. And it is glued in place. And then this orange speaker housing, which I believe is the same one as this radio, um, has a feature that is really, really cool. You see how there is this, this boss and maybe a dome inside there. Can you guys see that okay? What that is, is a membrane that keeps water out of the speaker mic and um, allows you to have a, a normal speaker in here. And this pin in the middle keeps the membrane out from the mesh. If the membrane were allowed to chatter against the mesh, it would sound like uh, a kazoo. Remember those those things we would make as kids where you take uh, wax paper and you wrap it around a comb. That's exactly what this would sound like. And in fact, that's what some of the Chinesium ones I was using did sound like. This is an attention to detail that I've only seen in this brand radio. I haven't even seen it in my BK yet or my Motorola. Maybe they're using different speakers, but this is a very cost-effective way to get a waterproof setup. These do have the same speaker, the same microphone. Uh, I think the numbers are the same. Um, this has a very simple four-wire uh, connection. You've got your grounds and your powers for your speaker and your microphone. Whereas this one has six wires, which include the controls for the volume and the AB function. That is really cool. I, I can't tell you how excited I get when I see innovation like this, where it actually is something different that's very simple, but works very well. So my hat's off to Rocky Talkie for that. That's, that's really cool. We're not going to put that one back together on video. I already did that on the last one that the video got deleted or didn't take. Do I, do I sound like I'm complaining enough? Because I really am. I was really bummed. But bottom line, I really like this new remote speaker mic from Rocky Talkie. I like how it fits the radio. I like that it's a hefty, solid feel, but not heavy. Um, I like that they've gone to a surface mount connection. I didn't like this initially, but I do actually really like it now. And um, yeah, Rocky Talkie, you did well. You did well on this. Again, I purchased these speaker mics. I bought two of them. I bought a bunch of lanyards and a few other things. I actually bought two more of the mountain radios. I, again, tried to get two more of the GMRS version but they are all sold out. So congrats, Rocky Talkie, on selling out your first batch of the 5-watt GMRS radios. And I look forward to buying some more when that new batch is ready. 
So if you guys are looking for a really rugged radio, I do think that this is now an upgrade to the mountain radio, a proper upgrade. It's more power. It's more weather resistive, resistant words, they matter. And um, I, I really like the price point. I mean, they are not expensive. Um, I mean, especially when you're buying things like this. So anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and I will be back soon with another video attaching one of these to a Rocky Talkie. So stay tuned.